What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Demon Slayer Shinobu falling into the Infinity Castle. This is like the scene, the close up on her face, where she's like sweating and falling, she's like what the hell? Landscape page, use a pencil, use an eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. I like doing close ups sometimes. It just gives hyper focus on like a lesson for eyes, especially like anime eyes. Let's begin. So her head is, we got an angle, right? Angle, diagonal, sorry, this way. So center of my page about there, we're gonna start with the right eye. So we're gonna curve. Now in Demon Slayer, you can go with um, sort of like angles on your curve like that if you want, or you can go smooth, it's up to you. Like you can go like a smooth curve. Demon Slayer can do both. So that's the, the line for the bottom of her eyelashes on the top, right? And the line for the bottom down here. She has very, very big eyelashes, right? So we have to do a bit more work on these. So what we'll do Go up that way first. And then at the back it goes there. And then we join this together. Boom. Right. This is the same down here, but we can kind of just thicken it up normally. It's not as thick as the top. more this way and then we're gonna color that in or shade it if you're using pencil do ink afterwards of course so as I said very big eyelashes right and in Demon Slayer we go this kind of stuff at the front two or three of these depends So we have to add her big eyelashes on the top. So these kind of spikes, I would call them. Curving off this way. Another one here. Another one here. Spikes on the bottom are smaller. Okay. So that is one set of eyelashes. So she's looking over to the right and her eyes are massive. So we go this way. Sorry, in Demon Slayer, they don't have to be like perfect circles or anything. And her eyes are just like a violet, like shading down to there. <clears throat> so like a white shine on top and then it gets gradually darker as it goes down. So you do that with color, really. I think in the manga, they might add like some hatching or something on top, but we go anime style. So her eyelid line, so there's like skin usually above the eye, like a fold for the eyelid skin, just there. And then her eyebrow spike there. And then we'll bring it up this way. And it changes direction just before sort of this eyelash kind of steps up and then goes back that way. It's always thicker at the front. 
we want to get gradually thinner back here. I think they're just black, so we can color them in while we're here. Then a nose line there. So that's it for that eye. So her other eye is about half an eye width over, right? So you could fit like half of her eye in between and then the next line starts about there, right? So with this, it's about half, three quarters of her eye, maybe half her eye, but half her eye need, it will easily fit in there. And then you go over the top again, curving around, and then down and then the bottom bottom line is about here okay now again we got to thicken them up so we add kind of the spiky section at the corners And then we join that with another curved line. Right, and then color, well, I'm thinking of the bottom as well, actually. And then we add her eyelashes. So there is some spikes coming off the front. First, and then the ones that spike up back here. And then smaller ones at the bottom. And then a big eyeball, well, iris. It's not really a ball, it's a lens on the right hand side of her eye. Okay, eyelid line, skin fold for her eyelid. Open around here. <clears throat> and then her eyebrow. Slightly different on this side. Goes underneath her hair here, but we'll draw it in and we can erase anything we shouldn't see. Different kind of shape eyebrow on this side. But it does gradually get skinnier as it angles back and then you can color that in now so that's how to draw out of my eyes <laughs> that'd be a video in itself so her nose right so we've got this hatching just on like the bridge of her nose right typical demon slayer sort of gradually getting smaller that way and then they do <clears throat> tip of her nose like that and they they add a shadow like they make it kind of darker in here and then a nostril like so very small delicate mouth now we can just see the teeth so it kind of like goes up down in the middle, back up, down to there. So it's as if it's kind of closed at the minute. You could leave it closed if you wanted, of course, but we'll just add that bottom 
lift line while we're here. And then they add that triangle. <clears throat> like so. And then her chin. That way. So she's a very round face, right? So it's not like a sharp jaw, you know, like a male character. It's a bit, it's a bit more gradual up this way, right? And, you know, the center line is that way. So we're going like around the face this way. So you want, you want to like gradually curve it, kind of like a wine glass sort of shape. This one will stop just about here because there's hair all hanging down on this side, but this one goes like all the way up pretty much to her eyebrow. So gradually go about mouth level there. It's where it starts to sort of turn around her cheek, right? Got a mouth level there. We start going up towards the side of her eye. See that? So we go in a bit and then out again. So in and then slightly curve it out around her sort of eyebrow. Like so. And she seems to have some sweat. She's sweating. A bit of perspiration. Because she's like, what the hell is going on? Okay. So her hairline now, right above her nose. About the same size as your nose as well. Your forehead's roughly the same size as your nose, if you, don't, if you didn't know. Roughly speaking, we got this V just there, right? So that and that are about the same. And then Demon Slayer hair, sort of spiky hairlines. there and then we got hair so let's see coming out from the middle go this way and it's all like blowing she's falling so it's all blowing in the wind and stuff so don't worry if it's not exactly like mine they can go in different directions you know a little bit of a center line just going that way as well <clears throat> and around the other side So that's like a fringe, right? It's all sort of dark inside here. All dark shadows and stuff. So I guess we'll just start with the fringe spikes and then she has some longer ones hanging down beside her ears. So we'll just go spiking in. Up. And then it looks like there's like another one. There. Where's that one going here? Okay, looks like there's a hair texture on it. Up. Back. And I think this just like goes up and around kind of that way. And then she has like a round part of her head at the back here. 
think it tied up the part just there. So in that long piece of hair here, just hanging down a bit further. Sorry about all the noise, but there's trucks working outside my house. And then the actual ear itself, you can see like a little bit of it just there. So I'm gonna add some more of a fringe on this side, spike. Spikes all sticking out this way. And then the long one hanging down here. Oh yeah, ear, ear as well. Curved line in here. And then like a nice over ear knob or something. So the rest of the picture then is nearly all her butterfly cape stuff. And then some of her Demon Slayer uniforms. So the cape, the edges of it, going that way. And then the inside on the other side there. And then we have a button right underneath her chin. All right, and then the middle line for her demon Sarah uniform. Then a pocket. And then we go with some folding lines just coming down. And then her, you can see some of her chest there. arms are out this way so we just go from roughly like where her eyebrow is so wherever we can fit that coming across here then the edge of her kimono here and then this sort of flowing line going this way and then the bottom there and there's all cape back here as well like a dividing line There's all butterfly patterns on this, but we'll just get it in the other side as well. Kimono coming down here. <clears throat> oh yeah, and she has like something in her hair up here, so. Just curving that way and there's like patterns and holes and stuff and all this and then the bottom of her cape I think is here so like some patterns and shapes and stuff on this Right, and then make another costume shape that way. So what's left is like all the veins. 
on the butterfly sort of area sort of stuff this I would describe them as veins I think that's what they are I think that's what they're supposed to be anyway they're supposed to mimic butterfly wings And every now and then there'll be like these little darker portions. And then Right, we'll just darken up some of the corner parts. And then... And is there any of that? Maybe there's like some up here as well. At least there should be. Right. I think that's everything. Did I miss anything? No, nope. don't think so. Shinobu Infinity Castle. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.